Hello guys, and welcome back to Playing by the Pound. Today we're starting off with Fly Little Dragon. This was a game made by Kelvin Shadewing, who I've seen around the furry community before. He does he does some pretty nice art, and I think he's done some like uh, pixel gif animation stuff as well. Uh, the story, this game has a story, and it reads like this. Heater the dragon wants to go flying, but Savetti the griffin doesn't approve of her little hatchling going so far from home, and she'll do anything to bring him back, even if it means eating him. Help Hita fly as far as he can before Mama Bird catches him. Collect fruity floodios to keep up your strength, and watch out for incoming birds. So, uh, this, this, this is kind of a Indosova-based Vore game, which, uh, where the Vore is not actually perilous, but nonetheless, Hita wants to escape, so. <laughs> which is cute. Um, so apparently this, uh, let's see here, Eric needs to control Hita, Wasta to control Passy. So this is actually a two-player which is interesting. You can play as two-player. It kind of works as a one-player game, too, though. But apparently you can also control both characters, which is interesting. I might mess around with that. But I'm more or less going to just see how long I can last as Hita. Even if you don't move past it, it's still... Well, she still gains, basically. So it still is a proper single-player experience, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, there's two-player mode. Okay, press space on game board, start a new game alone, enter for dual node, shift to start two-player. It actually says so on the main screen here. Anyways... It's cool that this is a two-player board game. That's kind of neat. You don't see that very often. But also single-player, so, you know. Um, but anyways, before we fully begin, of course, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner here, but we need more viewers to do it. So, whether you want to lurk or talk, think about coming by, because your view count actually does make a big difference. Also, we have a Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. In any case, though, let me go ahead and just pull up my keyboard here. And let's give this a shot. So space or X for single player, shift or B for multiple. Let's just do single player. And uh, this is a high score game as far as I'm aware. I don't think it has an end. Uh, I don't know what dual mode single player is exactly, but I'm assuming that's the one where I can use Wasset and arrow keys at the same time. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll mess with each one. Starting with single player, though. So it wants to begin. It does not want to begin. It wants to open my browser. Please stop. All right, there we go. There we are. The most difficult thing about this game is a it doesn't have like the highest frame rates of the X9 game. Not surprising. But also like the background's kind of busy, so it's actually pretty easy to kind of lose the fruitios in the noise of the trees moving around. If you don't get the fruitios. You will get got eventually. You need to gather those. And yeah, the Fritos, you're fast! You can also just, like, fly through birds, I think. Oh yeah, we can also have... If we time this right, we can have... Uh, Savetti, I think that was their name. Eat the birds, and I'll slow them down. Which requires basically, like, dodging out of the way at the last minute. I've yet to get a single one, unfortunately. A little tricky. Ah! There, I did it. Also got hit, but it worked out. Yeah, so if we could, we can make Savetti eat the birds instead to slow down. Just requires proper aerial maneuvers. There we go. It's actually a lot easier when. There we go. When we have the Fruitios full, we have a temporary invincibility. It's a really easy way of getting the birds eaten. Play very poorly right now, though, admittedly, but... Achievement! Go far from home! Okay, so it is a high score game, but it's also got achievements! So I just got 100 points, so I guess that's why I got that. Okay. Ah! Invincible, can't eat me right now. <laughs> but apparently I can still get knocked by the beak a bit. Uh oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> you, some of you guys love my clacky keyboard, and this is a keyboard-based game, so you will hear it. <laughs> Actually, there might be a limit to how far she can go on the screen, but obviously, when she takes half the screen, like, oh no, oh no, I lost. <laughs> Apparently, if you go too long, she she just catches up. Final score 153. <laughs> I actually got pulled back, so I guess if you do let her 
extend the whole like uh, whole like length of that half screen portion, then you just get got. <laughs> Fair enough. Ran out of stamina. Oh, that's what happened. Need more fruitios. <laughs> also, hello, Auto Retro. Let's go ahead and try that again. See if I can play a bit better this time. You know what I might actually do though? It might be good if I put this on Joy to Key. Let me actually let me just no. Let me put this on Joy to Key because this would be a lot more enjoyable when with arrow keys are outdated. Arrow keys are an outdated way to play a game. I do not have the best reflexes for that. Let me pull up my Joy to Key. That would be a lot more functional. Wasted for life. Wasted can be used to control. Um Thank you for joining the key. Thank you for opening my browser telling me thank you for using Voyager Key. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> also, I would like to note while I set this up, so Heater the Dragon, that's actually, uh, that is a person as well, I believe. I'm fairly certain that that is actually a person that um, is on FA. I think if they were a small dragon, they get eaten a lot. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Though I actually haven't seen new art involving them in a while, I think. Uh, just maybe I've been missing it. But, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Also, may as well put... Oh, sh What did I do? Oh! I hit A and this somehow activated some sort of... Alright, well. <laughs> so much for the player two, then. <laughs> so this is, this is two... So two player actually involves two... So it's a competition mode, basically. Not, well, I mean, not anymore it isn't, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, apparently, hitting A just started the game. Maybe it does have key. Wait, you know what? This does actually have. Maybe this has controller support and it just doesn't say in the like the description or the instructions. And everything didn't indicate controller support, but they see it seems like it does actually have that. So fair enough. Back he fell, beast. Back. Ah, not me. Lies your control deep end. So I guess hitting A entered uh, two player mode. So I guess is it I guess it's competition, right? See so who gets so you can go get go further. Wonder what he is two player counterpart is named. Go, push it back. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. So this is a silly little high score game, but I do kind of like it. It's got a cute theme and good art. Whoa, okay, there we go. I gotta work on the stamina though. I'm missing out on stamina really. Ooh. Fortunately, you reset to Hunter stamina when you, uh, Consuming of Fruitios. I do wonder why Fruit Loops are suspended in the air in this game. Interesting. Very interesting situation there. Oh, I need to stop missing Fruitios. There we go. There's one. It's really easy to miss them though, because especially when she takes up a lot of the screen, it's like, ah, no! <laughs> So AXB, oh, I see, it's this right there, actually. So I guess A, A is two-player mode. What's X? Oh, well, there's, oh, the two-player mode actually has us both in the belly. Hold on. Let me actually get re non non here. I want to see something. Yeah, I wonder who that other dragon is. They're, they're definitely different. Like, they, they, they're not just in color. They got, like, other... All right, hold on. Let me... I actually didn't notice that first. That's cute. I didn't... Nice attention to detail. I don't know why I didn't think that there would be a second character, but there you go. I mean, there's obviously room. There's room for like ten of them, probably. <laughs> All right, back to X. I think X is one player mode again. So. I'm gonna try to be very aggressive about the bird eating. There we go. Oh, come on. That was such a birdie. Come on now. There we go. Oh, 
There we go. Nope, not quite. Quite. It actually has to be pretty exact. Ooh. Ah, she's really going clap clap with that beak. The fox is pretty specific. Oh no! It's okay, I'll try again. Let's, uh, I don't know, so we unlocked an achievement, which makes me wonder, like, okay, is there other achievements then? Achievement, got roommate? Wait, wait is... <laughs> I think I got an achievement for getting eaten with a bird. Fair enough. Fair enough. A double gulp. Two for one. By the way, if you don't press anything, you do slowly go backwards. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So the epic flow is grab invincibility, then make her eat birds while you're invincible. Sabers show up while you're invincible. Come on now. There we go. Into Soma. Achievement get into Soma. Okay. Wait, hold on. I'm kind of curious. Like, I, there might be an achievement list of the main menu or something. I'm not really sure. Actually, let's, I'm going to hit B. What's dual mode? Is that where I can control both of them? Oh, I can. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is confusing. D-pad and analog stick. Wait, no. Yes, yes, but only at one at a time. What the hell? Okay. I, there's no way I can do that. This, this, one, one controller. I don't know. It doesn't. Dual mode doesn't seem all that different from. Oh wait, what if I get? Oh bet. Let me. Oh bet. Here. What if I get eaten with the second player? That would probably be an achievement, right? Does he eat a certain number of times? Probably. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally sure how it all works. Oh, no, it's when... Oh, okay, when there's a second player up, there's actually more Fruity Loops. That makes sense. Very simple game, this, but it's amusing. I can't actually get eaten while invincible. They just get knocked away. Uh, there are attempts. Attempts are made, but. So you can extend your invincibility by eating more free loops while. Oh. Looks like the further you get in, the faster your stamina drains, which kind of makes sense. You are flying for longer.
Okay. Prepare to get those bird eats. So you can get some space. A lot easier to get bird eats on the Blue Jays. It's easier to line that up. Ah, oh, fuck. These fruit Loops positioning. It's un very rude. There we go. Nice. I must eat the fruit Loops. Wait, what was that? There was a weird white bird there. Do you see that? What's up with that guy? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a hummingbird. Oh, there are other enemies if you go far enough. Interesting. Requires going quite far, honestly. I don't understand their patterns, and that makes me scared of them. I'll probably run into them. Tastes like chicken. I guess I had them eat enough birds. <laughs> So if you're if you're really skilled, the difficulty does go up. I, I still don't. They just they move a little bit and they then they charge forward. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going for sustain myself over. Eat a burb. Eat a eat a hummingbird. These are very big hummingbirds because hummingbirds are small normally, right? Compared to other birds, at least. Ah. Oh, okay. They're very disorienting, I gotta say. Stupid hummingbirds and their ability to hover. <laughs> well, they gotta be also technical and shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the hummingbird just kind of noped out. <laughs> Given the situation, fair. <laughs> oh god, I'm missing so many free loops. If you notice, I can't fly up and down fast enough to catch all. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. Oh no! You know, though, I did pretty well. Here, let's try going back to uh, the tile screen, which I don't know if I can do without... Oh, Passy's the other character. Oh, is that Passy the dragon? Oh yeah, I know him too, actually. He is also a fur. Well, scaly, I suppose. Again, who? Passy X4, I believe is their username, at least somewhere. I, I think I gotta restart the game to actually, uh... Giant mouse. Uh, Alright, so, um... I'm trying to look about... So we're getting achievements, right? One would assume that means there's a place to look up the achievements. But I don't see anywhere. So A is dual mode single player. Uh, okay, so A is the dual mode. Hold on a second. I'm doing a little. I'm doing a little prompt, impromptu research here. So if I recall correctly, this is on Game Jolt. So let me uh, look this up a little bit. Apparently, also, there was a Patreon to make a sequel. But I don't know if it ever went anywhere. Passive RX on the Discord server. Is he on a Discord server as well? Huh. I'm gonna go to not die. Good luck with the storm, dude. Um, yeah, okay, so there's an achievements, but I can't really find. Huh, okay, yeah, I can't find anything. We're just getting achievements randomly without knowing how. I would love to, let's see here, dual mode lets me control, okay. This is, uh, this is easier than the two-player mode. The two-player mode, for some reason, it uses, uh, it's still confusing though because I'm controlling two carriers and that's fucking hard. <laughs> but, uh, basically, two player mode uses both analog sticks. And there's almost no way for me to actually micromanage this. <laughs> but I will try. And try and fail, maybe. Oh no, wrong one, it's wrong stick. 
Yeah, it's, a, it's tricky. It's tricky to run two at the same time. And pass is out of stamina, so rip stat, rip Passy in a minute here. No, Passy! No, stay away from Passy. Uh. <laughs> well, I think I'm about done with this. I'll try, I guess I'll give it one last proper attempt here. See if I can't, uh. Come on. <laughs> See if I can't get a score of... I was trying to go for 500. That would be pretty cool. Achievement get far from home. Wait a minute, I turned the game off and back on and I'm getting the achievement again. It doesn't even save the achievements when you close the game. <laughs> well, not all play collecting those, is there? <laughs> I guess this game doesn't actually save data whatsoever. Also worth noting, if she's swallowing a burb, that means I can be close to her for a moment. For a very brief moment, I'm safe to be nearby, basically. That was dangerously close. <laughs> How did that not nom? <laughs> nom, please, thank you. Need a little space here. Fruit Loops are being kind. Oh, sh oh, we got the hummingbird shit. <laughs> they stick around a long time, which makes them kind of dangerous. Whoa, 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 careful. Alright. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Give me a little space. The burps coming faster is both dangerous and useful. The hummingbirds sometimes just off-screen themselves and they just- they're just gone. Oh. Nope. Okay. I mean, the more burbs are- the more chances of incidental noms, so that's useful for me. See if I don't get hit by the burbs. They knock you back, if you didn't notice. Well, I got 300. I think I hit that last time, though. So I'm not too impressed with myself. You can miss quite a few Fruit Loops without losing, but the stamina drain is pretty fast, all the same. It's important to get those. Every time I get invincibility, the stamina resets to 100, though, so... No matter what situation my stamina is in, if I get enough Fruit Loops... <laughs> it's not too bad. Space for myself. I'm surprised that actually resulted in a nom, that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't result in a nom. What the hell? Unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh careful there. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Rude. Yeah, a lot of hummingbirds all of a sudden. I'm so sorry? Oh, two at a time now. We have advanced, I suppose. Mm hmm. 
And that could be anything, huh? Okay. Again, this theoretically should make life both harder and easier in a way. Or should be more chance of her nomin things that I want her to eat instead of me. Please go away. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that bird was really in my way. Come on. We're getting we're getting we're getting pretty close to my goal of 500. But can we make it? I feel like the hummingbirds just sized up the situation like, huh, how do I go around this? <laughs> I'm not so sure, I gotta think about this. I'll think about this a second. <laughs> oh, 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 These setups, man. Kinda, they're kinda scary, I'll be honest. <laughs> Five hundred! Wings getting tired, achievement unlocked. I had a feeling there'd be something at that point. Oh, I missed one. I saw the price! Oh! That was some dodges, man. But did you see those sick dodges? Two hummingbirds. birds! That's very dangerous! <laughs> Alright, then. <laughs> two, two unpredictable burbs covering any part of the screen they want to. Always a good time. <laughs> how, did, how did none of that result in a nom? Come on now. The, the, see, the way you win is you fill up the, the griffin with so many burbs they, fly out, they follow this guy. Too, too bloated a belly full of burbies. And then, then we win because can't chase us. Okay. Oh, oh, oh wee! All right. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I just had to do like a last minute dodge. <laughs> ah! Again, apparently. <laughs> Fairly. These blue jays are always in just the wrong place for this situation. Oh no. Stab a situation. All right, there we go. Hell yeah! Well, give, me, give me some freaking space here. <laughs> Hey, that was good though. I'll take it. I don't think I think we reached the final level there because if you notice, I went quite a while. I went quite a ways without anything uh, increasing. I think two burbs at once was the last trick the game had to pull. And also, I got wings getting tired of five, but I feel satisfied. That feels like a pretty complete playthrough. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, in any case, I'll restart the game so we can get the tile screen again. Uh. It doesn't look like there's a mode where you control the griffin, so it's just two players as far as two little dragons to run away with. Um, that's fine, though. That's still cool to have a two-player mode, though. Just, you don't see that very often with uh, Play by the Pound games, so. But anyways, that was Fly Little Dragon. Pretty cute. Very in the spirit of what the little dragon Hita does, as far as, like, trying to avoid peril of getting eaten by numerous larger creatures. Very cute. I rather like it. Uh, Kelvin did a good job on this. Uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. I had a good time with that. So that was Fly Little Dragon.